I'm Elisa with EECC Travels and today I am going to do a video to show you everything that we bought on this last Carnival Cruise. Um, the reason I'm doing this is a lot of people might be new cruisers and want to see what is available both in port and on the cruise ship. So here's a few things that we bought. Okay, so first off is this chess set. Now this is like a marble material with hand carved pieces and you'll see, turn it, they're black and white pieces on a black and white board. They are hand carved, they're very nice. These come in different sizes. This is a smaller size, so they have small, mediums, and larges. This was $12 in Cosimo and it is a really nice set. My one piece of advice here is if you're gonna buy something like this, watch the people as they pack it away because I don't know if you can see this, but we are missing a piece. So it's a great set, but whenever we play it, we have to put something in that space to have a full set. So just a little piece of advice there. Something else we like to collect are coffee mugs and not necessarily to drink out of, but more to collect. So we got two on this trip. One is from Cozumel, and this is a hand-painted, hand-crafted terracotta mug. Very pretty. You can see it's sealed on the inside. So you can see someone hand-crafted this and then painted and then sealed it. So this is too pretty to mess up. So uh, we paid $8 for this. I thought that was a good price for the quality that it is. Second mug we got was in Belize, and it is made completely out of bamboo. And you see that crack right there? That means it should not have gone in the dishwasher, and it did. So now this is not a usable mug, and it's on our display shelf. But it's a really cool mug. Like I said, it's made completely out of bamboo. See the inside and the outside. And this one was about $5 in Belize. Another item we like to collect are Christmas ornaments. So... I got this one in Cozumel a couple of years ago, but I'm just showing it again here because it's so pretty. It's handcrafted. We paid $5 for this one. So we wanted to continue this tradition, so we picked this one up in Roatan. So this is really nice. It's, it's a plastic ornament, but it has got sand and seashells in it. And on this side, it says Merry Christmas. On this side, it says from the shores of Roatan, Honduras. This one was $8. While we're on collections, we like to collect things, we collect magnets. So we, we get magnets from every port. This one was from Cozumel. This one cost a dollar. Here's another one from Cozumel. This one was $2. got one from Belize and this one was four dollars and then lastly we got one from Roatan I liked this one especially because it is made from mahogany so it says mahogany bay and it's got this some uh, local flowers so it says Mahogany Bay Roatan this one was three dollars so magnets are a very inexpensive souvenir and then you put them on your refrigerator and it makes you smile whenever you see it because you have fond memories of these different ports okay something else fun we got so colby got his chessboard cameron got a hand carved axe that says belize on it so cameron likes these more crafty items another one he got he got this really cool sword in roatan and they see how this one says belize the sword said Roatan on one side and on the other side they took a wood carving tool and carved his name in it Unfortunately, he left it on the cruise ship. So I'm gonna put a picture in here That's a really cool sword. I really hate that he lost it. That sword was $12. This was $4 The typical souvenir everyone thinks of is t-shirts. So 
the Caribbean is a really good place to buy t-shirts. So look around. Don't always buy them from the first shop you go into because you might get a better deal a couple of doors down. So in Cozumel, we found a place that had t-shirts two for $10. So we got this one. And we got this one. I really like this one with the iguanas and iguanas literally are everywhere in Cozumel. So I thought that was really appropriate. So five bucks a piece, two for $10 for these shirts in Cozumel. Now, Jason's favorite place in Cozumel is Ron John. So he always gets him a new t-shirt from Ron John. This is his t-shirt from this year. That's the front and the back. And Ron John t-shirts are a little bit more expensive. They're not going to be the touristy shirts. These are about $20, but they're a good quality shirt. They don't shrink. Um, they can be worn over and over again. Little tip, if you buy something at Ron John, ask them for a window decal. And they'll usually give you one if you make a purchase. So Jason has gotten a new vehicle. So his old vehicle had his Ron John sticker on it. So we asked for a new Ron John sticker and he got it and it's already on his vehicle so I can't show it to you. But those are normally a couple of bucks but they'll just kind of give you one if you make a purchase there. In Roatan, we, our favorite shop is called Toucan, Toucan Souvenirs or something like that. It's right in the port and they always have a great deal on t-shirts. They're good quality t-shirts. We buy some every year because they hold up so well. And those are four for 20 or $5 a piece. So this is mine. So it's got the little piece on the front and it's on the back. And that's how all of these are. So, and I like the dual having the front and the back. So this was Ethan's shirt, the front and the back. He likes the black and white, so that's what we got him. Okay. Cameron's favorite color is red, so he got the red. Here's the back. So this one says Paradise Found, Rabatan Honduras, and then Colby's favorite color is blue, so he got this one. And it says Rotan. And then it says 1861. So that's the year that Roatan was founded. Like I said, great quality t-shirts for five bucks a piece. You kind of can't beat that. Okay, if you watched our shopping in Cozumel video, you'll see that there are purses everywhere. And they're good quality purses. I can't tell you if they're knockoffs or if they're seconds. I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna lie to you about that. I think they're seconds. I think they are actual coach or Michael Kors or whatever that have some sort of flaw in them. So they weren't good enough to go into the actual stores. So they're sold outside and you can get them at a really good price. Now, a lot of times you'll walk in and you'll say, how much is this person? They'll say $70 or $80 or $90. They will take about half of what you actually, that whatever they actually tell you at first. So, I found a shop where I found a couple of purses I really like. They're both Michael Kors. This is the first one. Black. Got the zipper on the back. The Michael Kors on the front. And you can see all my stuff in it. Um, it's got a big open space and then it's got pockets on both sides. So I think this is a really nice purse. It's a good leather these purses really do hold up. I buy one probably every other year and it lasts me about two years because I'm not one of those people that changes my purse with every outfit. I like something that is um, black or brown or you know that can kind of go with everything. So I bought this purse and I bought this purse. And you can see I haven't used this one yet because the plastic is still on the arms. I'm going to keep it that way until I want to use it to preserve it but you'll see it's the same style, but a different pattern. And you can really see the inside because this one is empty. But they're the exact same style. So it's got the zipper pocket on one side, the little pockets on the other side. It's very deep. It will hold everything that I need. 
Okay, so how much did I pay for these two purses? So I walked in and they said $70 for a purse. And I said, mm, how, about, how about we negotiate? So I found two I wanted. If you buy two or if you buy a purse and a wallet, they will make you a better deal. So I got two purses for $65. I think that's a fantastic deal. Even if they're knockoffs, they're still really nice purses for 65, two for $65. So anyway, that's what I got. I like these purses and they'll last me for a while. So lastly, we like to buy a few items on the ship as just souvenirs or remembrances of the cruise. One thing we buy every cruise is a magnet of the cruise ship. So this is the breeze. Okay, so this magnet was $4. You see it's just a really thin magnet, but I like getting one either with the name of the ship or a picture of the ship, and you can tell we have lots of travel magnets. That's one of the things we do. Okay, also we were there at spring break, and we were there towards the end of spring break. I think ours was probably the last week of spring break. It was the week of Easter, and so they had these great spring break t-shirts. And they say spring break, they say carnival 2018. These were normally $14.95, but like I said, we were there at the end of spring break, so they had a special. So we got these for five bucks a piece. So you love me and my $5 t-shirts. This was a carnival t-shirt for $5. We bought one for each of the boys. Okay, and the absolute last thing I have is things that we didn't pay for. So when you cruise with carnival, you um, are, have different levels, and once you hit gold level, they start giving you pins, okay? So, you get a pin for each cruise, or each year, or each cruise. So, here's our gold VIFP pin for this cruise. See, it says thank you, it says VIFP, and the year. When you get up to platinum, which I'm not, obviously, you get... A more specialized pen that has the actual ship on it and the year okay so we each got one of these pens we got these medals for the boys that say carnival on one side and fun for all all for fun on the other and we got our very first ship on a stick from the carnival breeze and little cheat on this we didn't win anything we did participate in a few events but we didn't win anything but we scored an interview with the cruise director if you haven't seen that video go back and watch it lee mason was an amazing cruise director he was so nice to sit down and talk to us so he gave us a few goodies to remember him by. So I hope you like this video. It gives you an idea of things that are available. I know some of these are traditional souvenirs. That's what we like. Um, we are not some that spend big money in port. A few other things that you can buy that a lot of people do like to buy is you can buy alcohol. You can buy it at a tremendous discount from what you would pay for it here in the United States. There's no taxes or fees on it. If you buy alcohol, they will take it when you get on board. You can't bring it to your cabin. So whenever you go uh, into port and you come back, they're gonna take your alcohol, they're gonna put your name on it, and you'll get it back the last night of the cruise. So just keep that in mind if you are buying alcohol in port. Um, you can also buy cigarettes, cigars, things like that at a tremendous discount. We did buy some Cuban cigars. Um, whether they're real Cubans or not, I'm not 100% sure, um, but we got them for $5 a piece. The first place we went into for Cuban cigars, they were saying, you know, $20 a cigar, $15 a cigar, or even more. So, in shopping around, we did find a store that if you bought a quantity, they gave them to you at a discount. So, that is something else. Um, another item is jewelry. I am not a jewelry person. You'll see I have a, a plain wedding band. I am not a diamonds or anything person, but if that is your thing, you can get really good deals in the Caribbean on those as well. So just food for thought. These are some things you can buy on a cruise in the Caribbean. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe for more cruise videos to come. And thanks for watching. Happy cruising. Bye.